So hello, good morning everybody. My name is Sarah Jane Marsh. I am the chair of the NHS England National Maternity Implementation Board. I am also the chief executive of Birmingham Children's Hospital and Birmingham Women's Hospital. So, so not so long ago, I was absolutely the mom having the maternity experience. Now, quite a lot of people have said to me, wow, that being the chief exec of two hospitals and uh, the mom of two young children, that feels like quite a lot to have on. That feels quite stretching. So why is it that on top of that, you would want to chair the Maternity Implementation Board? It's a really big area, lots to do. Have you really got the time to do it? Well, when I was first asked, it was about 10 weeks after Ronnie was born. So it was just coming up to the, the new year uh, when Jane uh, Cummings asked me if I was interested in doing it. And I, I had to think very carefully, but the first thing I wanted to do was obviously read the review at that point. Now, at that stage, it wasn't actually called Better Birth. We just had a, a working document. But I read through it very carefully and any thoughts that I'd had that maybe I would be able to say no started to disappear quite quickly because I started to get drawn into it and I got drawn into it on two levels. Firstly, as the chief exec of the women's hospital with one of the biggest maternity units in the country, I thought this actually speaks to the things that I know the staff of the women's hospital worry about every day, the things that concern them as obstetricians, as midwives, as support workers, as support staff. But it also really spoke to me as a mum after my recent experiences of maternity care, which I have to say were wonderful. I don't know if there's anybody here from uh, Worcester Royal Hospital. Yay! Okay, great. Well, I've had both my children at, at uh, Worcester Royal. I have no idea why it has the CQC rating it does, because I had the most amazing experiences both times. And I also had the most fantastic male midwife deliver Ronnie, um, which I think there's only about 200 in the country, so I was very pleased and thrilled there. But it really spoke to me, the two themes coming out of the review, the first one around choice, um, and not just this idea of the personalised budget, which I think has perhaps been overemphasised. It is important, but that's absolutely not all we're talking about when we talk about choice. We're talking about being alongside the woman at every step of the journey, conversations with them throughout where they get to make the choices that are important for them and their baby. And that theme came through really, really strongly to me and felt so important. And secondly, the theme of safety that whilst we know we have got safe care in the NHS, we know that there is more that we can do. We know there's more we can do, particularly around stillbirths and perinatal mortality, and we should be absolutely up for that challenge. So I was drawn in and immediately feeling very passionate. The second thing I thought I might use as an excuse to say no was, does this really have the sign-up of everybody? There's so many stakeholders at the moment in the NHS, both in the national system, but also in maternity services generally. And I was able to be reassured very quickly that indeed it does have a very wide sign-up. And I think at this point I'd like to pay a huge tribute to Julia Cumberledge and Cyril Chandler for the outstanding work that they did to include absolutely everybody in the creation of this vision because at the end of it nobody could say I haven't had my opportunity I haven't had my say everybody recognizes their words and their language in it and I know NHS England NHS improvement health education England public health England the CQC Royal Colleges many other stakeholder groups have all said yes we absolutely sign up to this vision so very powerful when you've got what patients want what the service wants from root to tip when everybody comes together to want the same thing we can make it happen but the third reason that i absolutely 100 percent wanted to do it is that i've spent the last seven years as the chief executive of a children's hospital I am exceptionally passionate about children's services. I believe that children absolutely deserve the very, very best 
start in life. They come into this world innocent and it's absolutely our job as parents and as professionals to do the very, very best we can for them. And the more I've looked into this and the more I look at about how we get this right, the more I know this absolutely starts with maternity care. It starts with giving the mother the very best experience and the baby the very best opportunities in terms of both physical and mental health. And it, I think it would be a mistake to see better births as something that's just about those nine months of pregnancy and the birth itself and perhaps the few weeks after. I truly believe that this is our opportunity to influence a generation, to make a massive difference for children in this country, not just now, but into the future. For me, this is the programme that is going to make a difference right across the country, not just now, for, for generations to come. So I hope... In making my decision to say that I wanted to lead this, that's probably many of the same reasons why people are in this room today, because they feel an equal amount of passion for maternity services and for the difference we can make for women, for babies and for children into the future. So we've got an absolutely fantastic day ahead of us. We've got many objectives to meet. The first is to fully understand more the vision that is set out in Better Births, to explain more to you about exactly how we're now going to move forward in, into the implementation stage, to make sure that everybody here leaves this room as a champion of what we're doing and feels completely empowered to go forth and do. Please don't wait for us nationally. We've got everything we need now to start moving forwards, and we're going to talk about how we can help and support that. But also, hopefully, connect people in this room together with things that you're all doing at the moment, and hopefully those links will carry on from today and we'll be sharing successes, challenges and ambitions for many months and years to come. Now, unfortunately, uh, until the very last minute, we were expecting the Secretary of State, Jeremy Hunt, to be joining us today. And he was going to be announcing uh, one of his very real passions around maternity services, in particular around the safety work stream. I think for reasons that are genuinely outside of his control, he is unable to come and make the announcement. But he is absolutely committed to doing it and he's going to do that over the next few weeks. We're not sure exactly yet when, but we will keep you posted. He has, however, asked me to pass a message on which is to say that he would like to say a huge thank you to Julia Cumberledge and Cyril Chandler and the review team at NHS England for the absolutely excellent work they've done to this point to get us to having the document and the plan around better births. And he now absolutely supports us as we move into the next phase of the maternity transformation programme. I'm just sweating now as to what that word support looks like. But uh, it's a great place to be to know that you're in a work stream that's one of the personal passions of a Secretary of State that I'm sure we're going to have now for years to come.